Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, it looks like we've got some gray shaded areas here. One in each corner and one on the north and south. Okay, and they're all six squares big. All right. Becomes less important by comparison. Hmm. Is it fades? I think I think you say that when you say something fades by comparison, it it's less important, right? Yeah, I think that's good. Let's see if we can fill in this gray box over here and get a head start on the theme. Bitcoin EG. Um <laughs> I almost wanted to say token. But I have a feeling they're going to want a crosswordier answer, which is going to be e cash. Yeah, those letters look a lot better there than token would have. You would have had a DK here. And then what is this going to be? Hmm. Facade? I don't know. That anagram's into facade. Fad. Yeah, I can't think of anything else it would be. Hmm. Scrambled up facade, maybe. Let's take a look at the down here. Potpourri pieces. Oh no, that should be petals, right? So maybe it's pales in comparison. Yeah, that is the actual phrase. It's not fades in comparison. It's pales in comparison. Okay, yeah, I didn't have that quite right. So then this is gonna be palace. There we go, and it goes in order this time, that's better. Okay, so we have a palace in one corner. And then this is going to be petals, because there's flower petals in potpourri, right? Tree that's a favorite of giraffes. Oh, um, hmm, I'm not sure about that one. It's probably pretty tall, though. Bemoan? This is like you're complaining about something, right? Hmm. Paranormal power for short. That's extra sensory perception. If you can read minds. Thin layered sedimentary rock. I think that's probably shale. City near St. Petersburg in Florida, I think, would be Tampa. Winners of this year's Super Bowl, as we learned, or we were reminded a couple of days ago. Virtuoso could be an ace. That's like somebody that's really good at something. And then this could be lament. I'm finally seeing that now for bemoan. Um, is it acacia? Acacia? I feel like I've maybe seen that before. Like regular exercise and happiness per research. Uh, linked probably. Yeah, exercise does make you feel better. Afterwards, at least. And then fill to the gills would be sate. Yeah, so your all your desires are satisfied. Um, French military headwear. Oh, um, interesting. I don't think I know this term. Wait a minute. No, it should be beret, shouldn't it? That's like the most French headwear. So wait, it's not linked? What else could it be? Maybe this is not an I? Hmm. That's really weird. Is this a D? Sidled along? This could be edged along, right? That still works with along at the end of it? Hmm. Oh, man. Is this going to be really an R here? Pint size. No, that should maybe be peewee. Okay, so maybe my original was correct. It is acacia. And then this is peewee? For something small? Okay, I think this is probably just a term I'm not familiar with. Uh, I maybe have seen this. Ugh. 
once, but I don't have a memory of it. Is it like Kephek or something like that? That's what my brain wants it to be. We'll see if that's right. 43rd Prez, so a casual way to refer to the 43rd president, which would have been George W. Bush. I guess that'd be GWB. Conflict that ended at 11 o'clock on November 11th. That was World War One, I? I guess. I think that's right. Come on, open the door. An equivalent phrase for this is probably let me in. Okay. Let's see if we can get this second shaded box here. Covenant. That's like a promise, right? Hmm. One who raised Cain? Oh, that's a cute clue. So it's not about making trouble, it's actually raising someone named Cain. And that was Adam, according to the Bible. Wounded by a bull, say? That could be gored if you get hit by the... the, um, the horns. But, you know, if you're not antagonizing a bull, you're not gonna get gored. Um, newspaper unit, I guess would be a page. Hubbubs, a Jews, a nice throwback again to our Thursday puzzle of a couple weeks ago. Much Ado About Nothing. And then this gives us Pagoda. Palace, Pagoda, interesting. I mean, they're both structures. Beyond that, I'm not sure how they're related. Covenant could be a pact. Yeah, that's like a promise or a deal. Catches sight of could be espise. What is this here? Bellyache is carp, yeah, to complain. You can carp about something. Put one's trust in. I guess that could be depend on. Yeah, that looks good. Fresh air broadcaster is NPR. Yeah, it's a radio show. Mrs. on Majorca. Um, and that's a Spanish speaking area, so that would be Senora, abbreviated, just like the Mrs. Is abbreviated. Like some breakfast cereals. Hmm. Is it gonna be Oaten? I think I've seen that on a puzzle before. Made of oats. Benjamin Franklin is depicted on the first US one, 1847. Hmm. So, I mean, we had a bunch of currency before this. Um, and it's not the $100 bill. Hmm. I wonder what this is going to be. This is interesting. The Garden of Earthly Delights Painter. Oh, interesting. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm familiar with this painting. Bear who sings the bear necessities in a 1967 Disney film. Well, yeah, ask me about animation. I know that. That is Baloo, the bear. Tiny ammo, I guess would be BBs for BB gun. That's sneaky because ammo is kind of both plural and singular. So there's not really a way to tell what it is. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is it a stamp? The first US stamp was made in 1847? Hmm. What did people use for the postal service before then? Oh man, I have a feeling I'm gonna be diving into a Wikipedia rabbit hole on this one. I'm gonna put in stamp, that seems pretty plausible. And it's looking here like this might be igloo, just based on these all being sort of buildings of some kind. And then that would give us what? I G L. Oh no, igloo is too short. Oh no, okay, so what is this gonna be then? Hmm. A, a structure that ends in L O O that's not igloo. Emphatic two pointer could be a slam dunk in basketball. Going places. Is this gonna be about a toilet? I have a feeling it might be. Uh, yeah, commode. 
back modes. It's a fancy way of saying toilet. Oh, it's just school. Oh, right, I was reading it the wrong way. It loops around like this, doesn't it? Okay, so that'll be a school. Heaven forbid is a, another way of saying hope not. And then what is this, Udo? Japanese salad herb. Oh man, I don't think I've heard of this before. Interesting, I've heard of Udon, but Udo is, is new to me. Something to believe in is a tenet. Yeah, belief systems have tenets. Use as dishes, I think is gonna be eat on. I'm just trying to get a little bit more crossing help. I'm wondering if this is gonna be a revealer here, this long answer in the middle. Food spoiling bacterium could be E. coli. All right, let's see if we can get it with just this amount of crossing here. Smaller parts making up a larger whole with a hint to the six groups of shaded squares in this puzzle. Building blocks. Yeah, there we go. And then these blocks of letters are all buildings. There we go. Yes, yeah, we were kind of thinking, well, they're all just buildings, right? Okay. Nice. Building blocks, yeah. I wonder if these are going to make some other kind of hole. I have, I have a feeling we're probably um, kind of done with the theme at this point. Oh, man. Is it, is it, I wanted it to be Kepik or something, right? Is this going to be a K? Slip past could be elude. Ending in a U here, that's unusual. Brand of knives touted in a classic infomercials. Yeah, that's... Ginsu knives. Yeah, if you were alive in the 80s, I think you're familiar with Ginsu knives. Kepis. Yeah, I think maybe I've seen this word before. I wasn't quite on the right track with my guess. Okay, let's see if we can get these long downs. Not a happy face would be a grimace. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. Um... Biblical? I mean, they're all referenced in the Bible, I guess. Hmm. Weren't they both destroyed also? Abraham Lincoln 4 1. Hmm. Well, he was a lot of things. Diamond Stat is a run batted in. Two thumbs up. Another equivalent phrase could say, maybe I like it. Oh, wait, L I liked it, maybe? Yeah. Although two eyes in a row seems really bad. Above the knee skirt could be a mini skirt. They turn litmus paper red. Those are acids. And bases turn litmus paper blue. Okay, so I'm going to remember which way the theme is going here. I guess this is castle, maybe? Something like? So what in the world is this? Unit in nist? <laughs> that has to be unionist, right? Like during the Civil War. Okay, so it's not I liked it. Maybe it's I loved it. A little bit more passionate there. And then many a smartphone recording, I guess would be a video. I guess you could record audio also, so it wouldn't be all smartphone recordings. Checks out in a way could be cases, like casing a joint before you rob it. Singer John, whose middle name is Hercules. Is that Elton John? Nine digit ID in brief is a social security number, yeah. Dance move that went from trendy to cringy in the 2010s. I guess that would be a dab. I guess if I know it's cringy, then it really is cringy. Okay, put two and two together. I guess it would just be add. <laughs> this is a wordplay clue. I guess on its face, it would be you're kind of deducing something. You're figuring something out. But this is just, you're literally putting two and two together. Mayim, who played... Amy Farrah Fowler on the Big Bang Theory. Oh man, isn't it some, um, the girl from Blossom, right? What is her last name? It's like, 
No, I'm gonna butcher it if I try and... Uh, is it like this? That's my best guess. Mayim Bilak, I think, is maybe close to how she spells her name. Brown loaf with an earthy taste. Brown loaf, probably of bread. Hmm. Stead, oh man, these are probably throwing me way off because most of these are probably wrong. Far from original could be trite, maybe? Yeah, if something's trite, it's very unoriginal. Um, maybe this is gonna be temple? Ooh, let's see if we can get one with very little help here. Um, thingy? Yeah, it's looking like it should be an item. Okay, I think we got temple right, that's nice. Food for a sea urchin though, I think is kelp. So we were partly right here. This is an A. Stead. Hmm, like in something's place. Topple over. Hmm. Keel over. Yeah, it's like a person would maybe. Posterior could be your rump. Oh, and then this is in lieu of. So it was an L after all. And then maybe this is dark rye for the brown loaf. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I think I actually wasn't that far off with her name. Okay. Blank hop swing era dance. Hmm. 2006 Winter Olympics host. Is it Nagano? I think that might have been right, although crooked. No, that should be bent. So it's not Nagano. I think Nagano was earlier. Oh, this, is this the one that was in, was it in Italy? Swelled heads could be egos. Yeah, is this Torino? Okay, yeah, I think maybe that's right. Modern lead into grammar. <laughs> is it Programmer? Oh yeah, like if you're a bro and you're a programmer, you're a programmer. Okay. Heracles to Zeus would be his son, right? Zeus had a lot of children. Hmm, is it Lindy? Could be, let's see if this is a D. Key of Beethoven's ninth. Um, well, it's probably gonna be minor because of that I there. I guess it could be a D. Um, it's probably the most likely letter here. Soccer great with a statue in Buenos Aires. Hmm. I don't know soccer very well. Stitch's pal in film is Lilo. I do know animation though, again. Believe it or not. What's an equivalent phrase for that? Hmm. Abhor could be loathe. You really hate something. Herculean undertaking. It's kind of a nice echo of this Hercules clue here. Uh, maybe it's ordeal. Yeah, like he slew the Nemean lion. Pet rocks once. Those were a fad. Kind of like the dab was a fad. Part of a political convention roll call. Hmm. A convention roll call. Hmm. I don't know about that. Is it slate? Like the slate of people you're voting for? I'm pretty unsure about that, actually. Um. Ooh, is this chalet? Ooh, that's so fancy. I love it. Uh, believe it or not would be in fact. Okay. It is looking like it might be Slate. Satirist blank Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen? Yeah. He gets extra time on the puzzle because he spells Sasha a little uniquely. Company behind the first microprocessor. I guess it would be Intel maybe? Seems pretty plausible to me. Shade of brown could be tan. Okay, so it's not slate, maybe it's state? Yeah, like the state of Minnesota votes for. Okay, I think maybe I have seen endemic conventions do that where they call out state by state and you hear who they voted for. And then this is Messi, yeah, Lionel Messi, I think maybe is his name. 
think I have heard of him. Uh, and then, yeah, let's guess D. I wonder if Lindy is named after a specific person. I have a feeling it probably is. And then that gives us D minor for Beethoven's ninth. All right. Nice. 90 days. We're doing great. And a Wednesday puzzle in 20 minutes. That's pretty fast, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a pretty basic theme, I think. It's nothing too crazy. Basic building blocks, I guess you could say. Um, I kind of liked coming up with the, um, the building names, though. Like, once you got a couple of letters in there, it was kind of fun to try and figure out what the building was. But yeah, it's not... Um, not too exciting. Um, yeah, I think this was kind of like, <laughs> kind of like a standard theme. Kind of, I got that feeling from the whole puzzle. It was pretty standard. It definitely wasn't bad. Um, I liked a couple of these answers here. Commodes was great. Um, unionist for Abe Lincoln is pretty nice too. Yeah, and then yeah, like I said, the um, the buildings were fun. All the different buildings that are exactly six letters. Um, yeah, makes me want to eat some dark rye. That sounds really good. Ooh, all right, I'm hungry. I better go eat something. All right, I hope you enjoyed building those blocks with me on this Wednesday themer. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with the marquee theme puzzle of the week, the Thursday. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.